Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Gavin from Balls to You. I've been sent quite a few uh, emails and questions to do with rack systems and people have been asking me, you know, what's the best type of rack to buy or what should I be looking for in a rack system? So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to try and cover as many of them questions as possible. Okay, we're back. The first question I'll get asked is do I use heat mats or heat tape? Uh, for those in the states or do I use cable or heat cable 90% um, of the racks that I've got are used with heat cable or heat tape as you can see do my best right at the back there okay so I tend to use a heat mat okay the full length of the rack system okay this is a V70 rack or, well, it utilizes the CB70 tubs, okay, which I advise for big females. Uh, and it, you, obviously, V70 tubs will also fit in there. However, this was designed back in the day for CB70 sized tubs. Um, for those who remember the CB70s uh, compared to the V70s, they are slightly wider from obviously from runner to runner, um, but they do work fantastic. So, Predominantly heat mat, okay. Vision racks, which I do have one hatchling rack, it does use a cable. Now you can convert that and use heat mats, okay, but it, they predominantly use heat cable. So, what type of heating do I use? Predominantly heat mats, okay. On to the next question ventilation. This is important, guys, because this is something that people don't realize. Now, I'm gonna show you something. This rack system here, sorry guys, do my best, has a vent system at the front of the tub, okay? That is the only vent, obviously, other than where the tub sits, there is a, a bit of a gap there. But that predominantly is the only gap that is there, that is, sorry, the only ventilation that this rack system has. And this is great when you are having uh, difficulty holding humidity. Because these tubs or this type of rack system where you have only got the vents towards the front, okay, will ha actually enable you to have, its, every tub will have its own little microclimate. Okay, so with this type of rack, you don't have to have a humid room or a heated room, if you like. You can control all the temperature and all the humidity all within this rack, within these tubs, okay? So whenever you're going to look at a rack, bear in mind what you are buying and what type of room or setup you have. Everyone's setup is different, okay? So remember, is your room humid and heated? If it is, then this type of rack really wouldn't suit you. You'd need the full vented one. Or um, if you wanted to control, let's say you had your your reptiles or your snakes in a bedroom. Well, you may not want to heat the whole room. So these are ideal, this type of rack is ideal for holding heat and humidity because you've only got a ventilation pretty much there at the front. Okay, so this is one type. Okay, I'm going to jump onto another type and I'll show you a full ventilated system from front to back. Okay, this next system is a fully vented from front to back at this moment, um, pretty much fully vented rack system. Okay, now this type of rack is ideal for your room if you've got a, a humid or heated room. As you can see, it's got gauze all the way pretty much the full length of the tubs and then obviously you've got right at the back there where the heat mat goes. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll get a torch in there, okay. So as you can see, that's where the heat mat goes and pretty much all the way along, it's fully vented, okay? Now, these racks are still great. There is nothing wrong with this style of rack, but it is something you guys need to consider when you're buying. Now, what I plan to do with this, because the humidity is fine, there's no problems with this room. However, we can convert this into a partly vented rack, and it's really, really simple. All we have to do is get some bits of plastic, 
cut to the length of between this bar and the heat mat at the back uh, and basically fill that gap there put it down put the plastic down and away we go we've got a front only vented rack system so never write this rack system off this is an awesome rack this is a classic euro rack uh, which was one of the first pretty much in the uh, in the UK guys and for those in the States we do struggle in the UK for rack systems so that's why majority of people in the UK will build their own rack systems so this is a fully vented rack system okay guys so I'll leave you with that and we'll jump on to the next style okay on to the next style of racks is the good old-fashioned British made melamine or conti board style wood rack okay this rack here was designed and built by a good friend of mine's dad uh, and I think even the mom also had a little design influence who knows <laughs> um, long story short this rack is probably over 10 years old uh, they had I think they had over 10 of these racks uh, and they are a 20 slot rack and they they bred and had great success and to be honest with you they have stood the test of time I have not had to do anything on these racks all I did was put some casters on the bottom just so it was easier for me just to move them about this is another style of rack so let's talk back about ventilation like we were talking about okay with the wooden racks or the melamine racks obviously we can't put vents in the melamine simply because we've got the tubs they're not on runners they are basically resting on top of the shelf so what my mate's dad cleverly thought up of and i'm going to give him the credit it may be the mom and i'm not going to mention any names but guys you know who you are is to put ventilation in and this is a fantastic idea the reason being and i'm going to explain it to you so bear with me right we've got the heat mat at the back okay so you've got your nice hot spot however we're missing a nice flow of air and flow of air is something uh, that we don't really discuss because it's something that's not really looked upon as being important well i can tell you guys air flow is important the same as now we're realizing that ambient air temperature is as equally as important as a hot spot okay so let's look at ventilation right the side of this rack or the sides of these racks and the tubs are obviously full so that they're, they're a full side okay whereas most of the racks or, or the professional racks nowadays are sideless and backless let's say okay so with this type of rack what this does and this this has basically got a back on as well now uh, the ambient the, the hot air now is coming this way okay because it can't get out the back it can't get out the side so the hot air is going to be forced this way right so I've got a fan in the background that's running constantly and what that does that moves the um, the, the air or well, the ambient air temperature all the way around and it, it circulates the air in this room so what happens is the cool air goes in or the fresh air and then it gets pushed out the other side well in theory obviously I know you can't see it but in theory the other side comes out um, and that's obviously your stagnant air now what we tend to find is on the racks that are front vented only if you have a substrate which is heavily uh, holds moisture a lot and, and sort of you get a lot of condensation on the front of the tubs you can get mold which is growing okay mold fungus and so on and so forth and obviously that can create problems and in husbandry and RI and all that sort of stuff so airflow is important okay for the health of the snake right so now we've got the cool air and the, and the fresh air going in all the stagnant air is going to come out what I tend to find as well if the snake does do a wee or a poo in there it will dry up nice and fast because it's got you, you know you don't get no condensation build up so the snakes not sitting in wet wee if you like it actually dries dead fast and because I use paper it dries even faster so I'm able to get that out scrump it up and throw it in the bin so now what you get because you've got a side and a back on these racks now your heat mats aren't on as much okay because it's holding the temperature really well at the back because the the hot air can't escape so all that happens is the hot air comes forward so because you're controlling them with your stats 
okay what you will find is your stat won't be on as much so here's a good tip for saving money and saving power um, it does cost a lot to run a lot of racks and the best way uh, I find to do it is to put a side and a back on as you know if you've got a bedroom put a side and a back on that rack and that rack will help you with your heating bill and will also help uh, with your electricity bill sorry and will also help with the heating of the rack system okay so ventilation this type is ventilated through the front of the tubs okay as opposed to on top and this is a handmade it's 10 years old still going on I'm really reluctant to get rid of these racks because they work so so well okay guys so that's ventilation covered let's go on to heating controls okay controlling your heat mats or controlling your heat source for your heat mats right I'm not going to beat around the bush guys okay I'm going to tell you exactly how it is one stat to control a whole rack will not work and I'm gonna put myself out there and say it will not work and the reason why it doesn't work is because you have a gradient heat temperature from bottom to top everyone knows heat rises okay and obviously if you check your ambient temperature in your room at the top and then check it at the bottom you will see there is a decent distance between the top and the bottom reading okay that's happening at the same with your rack so you can put your probe in the middle okay and you can adjust the 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 the, the stat to be I don't know let's say 90 degrees Fahrenheit sorry for all those who work in in Celsius but you know how I work I work in Fahrenheit so let's say you set it at 90 degrees well I'll guarantee you at the bottom it will only be 85 and at the top it will possibly be 95 that is when you're trying to breed or you're trying to keep your animals at the right temperature that is a big big difference guys okay um, fans that circulate the air temperature or the ambient air is fine but that's still not gonna cut or or create a better heat heating difference let's say from top to bottom so it's not going to cancel out the fact that the top tub is hotter than the bottom tub so how do we get around it simple every level has its own stat as I tend to get higher I tend to put one stat per two uh, levels okay because I don't I don't really need to control it that much at the top However, at the bottom and up towards the middle, I need to control that with accuracy. And I find the only way to do that correctly is to put a stat on every level, okay? It's fantastic, guys. I know you may be screaming at me. It's a lot of money, you know, to buy a stat and put a stat on every level. Well, guys, they're mat stats, okay? They're only about 20 pound. So it's 200 quid. I know it's a lot of money, however, this is going to be your let's say your breeding rack you want your animals to produce bang on every year great quality eggs you know no slugs but unfortunately heat too you know if your racks too hot then it can create slugs so the best way to get around that is to control every uh, level as best as possible and if you look at most of these stats if you look that one's not on that one's not on, that one's coming on and off, that one's on a little bit, it's a dimming stat, okay? Uh, the bottom ones, if you look, are on a bit more than the, the ones that will be coming into the middle. That's because what we're looking at is a difference in temperature, okay? So obviously it's cooler at the bottom, so then mat stats are gonna be on uh, more than the ones in the middle and coming up to the top. Um, long story short as well what you can do is control again mats see this is another topic not every heat mat and we're talking heat mat guys not heat tape or flex watt I think it's called is you can get one mat from the same manufacturer all these mats are heavy stat okay you and all these stats are heavy stat stats you can get one mat 
which works fantastic okay it works brilliantly then you can get another mat which is exactly manufactured the same way and it's slightly different in temperature so it may not be the fact that your room has got a gradient in temperature which it will have but it could also now be that the mat that you fitted isn't up to scratch like the other mat that's sitting on top of it or below it so all of a sudden now we've not only got to worry about room temperature we've now got to worry about mat temperatures so I know it's expensive guys but if you can get a mat stat on every level or every other level let's say okay it's going to make a massive difference to your breeding I guarantee you okay if you can point your temperature probe gun at the back of that tub and get a bang on reading where you want it to be you've got more control over your breeding and it's the same with every level I can guarantee you uh, every level is running at different temperatures regarding as in the stats so you can't really see it on the, on the, on the mat stats at the minute but no dial is sitting in the right position in the same position so that stat isn't sitting the same as that stat they're slight, slightly different you can't do that with one stat it's impossible I'll guarantee you I'll get more questions asking me how do I set up a rack system with one stat than I do with anything else and this is the secret guys the secret is to have a mat stat on every level and control every level trust me guys it will be worth it okay I know it's expensive but trust me it will be worth it okay um, obviously you can pick these mat stats up second hand uh, half the price you know fully tested uh, you know guaranteed that sort of thing and they work fine they have no issues um, again that is the best way to heat a rat uh, uh, sorry a rat a rack okay so you want to be heating every level individually okay so I hope this helps I hope this gives you an insight into my way of doing things and I have great success guys I'm not saying I'm the best out there I'm just saying this works for me and everyone has different things that work for them okay but you need to find out what works for you and utilize it okay because at the end of the day you don't want to be putting all your hard work and effort into breeding these animals and you're getting a pile of slugs due to your temperatures not being right because you're using one stat on a rack okay it really it really is a lot better to have a mat stat or a stat on every level right I'm going to shut up I'm going to leave you guys to have a bit of a think any questions put them in the comment boxes below I really appreciate your support guys I hope this does answer some questions if you are struggling with anything uh, on this video if I didn't make anything any clear or if you do need further a bit more in depth please don't hesitate drop me a line put a comment in the comment box below and I'll do my best to help you as I always do okay guys hope you're all okay and I'll speak to you guys soon take care Clear.